hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ari and let's do a haul. In May, I hauled 12 books. Seven of them are book boxes. Five of them are things that I bought. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, let's talk about the books that I purchased. So first up, I bought Coltish by Amanda Montel. I read this book in May. I liked it a lot. And then my boyfriend's master's degree is in like language, the, the language of convincing people to do things. So uh, I thought that he would really, really enjoy this. So I got it for him. But I would definitely be willing to read it again. Very interesting subject, very well written. It doesn't feel like nonfiction, so I highly recommend it. While I was at the bookstore buying that, of course I picked up a bunch of other books that I didn't need. Like, what world do we live in? Um, one of those books was Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I've heard nothing but good things about this series, even though I hear like the first book in the series is the worst, but it's still like a five star read. Um, but I've been wanting to pick this up, but I have a feeling that unless I own it, I'm not really going to prioritize reading it anytime soon. And with the state of my shelves, I may not even prioritize reading it even though I own it. So pick this up so it's in front of my face and hopefully I start the series sometime soon. Or maybe hopefully not because I've got so many open series that I have not finished yet. From my understanding what this book is about is a Mars colony maybe where the or a moon colony? I don't know if it's Mars or the moon, space colony on a planet that is not Earth and the red class of humans, uh, different humans belong to different classes of colors, uh, believe that they are preparing Mars... <laughs> I'm going with Mars... for colonization. Uh, by like doing all this mining and stuff but then they find out that it's already colonized and they're being lied to and so there's some sort of revolt and overthrowing and things like that. Next up I picked up Electra by Jennifer Saint. This is buy one get one 50% off and I have another one of those next in the stack. Uh, this is the Barnes and Noble book club edition. I don't know what that means because this looks like the other covers but apparently it's a special edition. Uh, Electra is the daughter, maybe the youngest daughter of Agamemnon and this is the story of the Iliad or you know like Helen of Troy from her perspective I think. I also think this has multiple perspectives and not just Electra's perspective. I think we follow, um, what is her name? I think we follow Princess Cassandra who has the gift of prophecy. I think she's the lady who, she has a gift of prophecy but she's cursed so that no one believes her prophecies, something like that. Anyway, uh, Greek myth retelling from the perspective of women. Same author who wrote Ariadne, which is the same kind of story. So is it gonna be good? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Let's set these books up behind me so you can see my giant stack. Uh, next up I picked up The Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. Uh, this was the other buy one get one 50% off and it's got pretty sprayed edges, which is kind of the only reason I picked it up. I'm wanting, I've been wanting to read something by Emily St. John Mandel um, and I don't know why I picked up her newest book instead of her first book because apparently you should read the newer ones first but this is a pandemic book which I've read a couple of. I like some, I haven't liked some of them but I like dystopian so hopefully I like this one but really it just has pretty blue sprayed edges. And then the last one. This one is going to be a good book for June and I will probably read it in June and it is Manhunt by Gretchen 
Felker Martin. I don't really know what this is about other than A, ridiculous, right? Um, there's feral men, it's a dystopian, the bad guys are murderous turfs. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I believe there are trans characters in this. It sounds like ridiculous, but ridiculous in the funnest sort of way. But I'll probably read this this month. It seems like the perfect kind of book for Pride, right? The next bunch of books are my book box books. Uh, the first one came in my Misplaced Muse Creative Book Nerds Essentials box, which was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I am instantly gonna unhaul this. Um, the issue with this book is it's just Little Women when most copies of Little Women that you find are Little, wom little Women and Little Wives and it's really not possible to get just Little Wives. So if I wanted to read the full story that most people know as Little Women I would have to buy another copy of Little Women to read the second half of the story. So I'm just gonna unhaul this because I, I don't need that kind of negativity and extra shit in my life. The next two books are from Coffee and a Classic, which I have now canceled. I may get one more box, but I think I'm done. Um, the first one was a replacement book for a box that they sent me a duplicate of from last uh, September, and that is the Hans Christian Andersen Tales. It's just Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. That, that, that's it. This month's new book is The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. I've read Phantom of the Opera. I like the like movie, musical, musical, opera, whatever. I like that better than I liked the book. Um, but yeah, I've read this and I'm glad to have a pretty copy on my shelves. Next up is Book of the Month Club. I did get an extra book from Book of the Month Club this month, but the first one is Darling Girl by uh, Liz Michaelski, I think is how you say her name. This is a Peter Pan retelling. Oh, that's all I know about it, is it's a Peter Pan retelling. <laughs> the other book is Book of Night by Holly Black. Um, I don't know what this is about at all, but I do know that Holly Black is a very popular author and this will probably be on Goodreads Choice Awards. It's fairly short, so I should probably read it before November because I'm gonna have to read it in November if I don't read it before November uh, but yeah I, I don't know what this is about at all I just know it's by Holly Black and it is her adult debut. The last two books I have are from my fairy loot box from April because I'm getting them like a month late uh, shocking to no one I don't really know what either one of these is about uh, so first I have Blood Scion by Deborah uh, Faley and basically the characters in this book are scions of gods, they have magical abilities, our main character's ability is deadly, and her government or somebody will kill her if they find out she has this ability. That, that's all I know. Pretty sprayed edges, fairy loot special edition cover. The other one is An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. This looks like a school setting and the main guy character has like perfect aim with an arrow. Uh, the main girl, main girl character um, feels like stifled by her parents until she met, meets this new boy and then something happens. So teenage love story with fantasy setting. Easy. Also pretty sprayed edges. And that's everything I hauled this month. Let me know if I should prioritize reading any of these books this month, if you've heard great things about it, or if you want to know my views on any of these books before you pick it up, leave it in the comments below. If you don't have anything to say down in the comments below, leave me a blue emoji in honor of our three blue sprayed edges. <laughs> I don't know why they were all blue, but they're all blue. Any blue emoji of your choice for our blue sprayed edged books. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!